Oftentimes, the greatest franchises in history have a singular moment that really kicked things off. For Robocop, it was the death of Alex James Murphy. For Terminator, it was Judgment Day. And for Gears of War, it was Emergence Day, occurring 14 years before the original game. This was a full-blown planet-wide assault, as holes started to crack open all over the surface of Sarah. These holes would become known as Emergence Holes. They surrounded almost every major city on the planet, as locust monsters started to crawl their way out from under the surface and attack any human with extreme prejudice. There was no discrimination between race, gender, or age. The locust brutally slaughtered any man, woman, or child that was in their path. For a time, the humans of Sera knew the illusion of peace. Until... Emergence Day. The reports of casualties was massive. Within the first day, over a quarter of the planet's population was completely wiped out. And to make matters worse, E-Day happened just weeks after the events of the Pendulum Wars. So humanity was already in a weakened state. Most were ready to go home and enjoy some time of peace. Instead, they went home to an absolute nightmare. If this game is done right, you are going to feel overwhelmed, decimated, and in shambles because you are. The COG, the URI, and humanity as a whole are going to be on their last legs. Instead of humanity enjoying a time of peace and having time to rebuild their family and lives, what they got instead was something more terrifying than the Pendulum Wars, and something much more nightmarish than they ever thought was imaginable. Even in the trailer, Marcus Phoenix is having trouble with a mere single Locust drone, which is actually pretty weird to see from a player perspective, because I'm used to seeing Marcus as being the opposing force to entire Locust armies. He was basically the Doom Slayer in the Gears franchise. Hell, by Gears 3, he was an unstoppable killing machine. The difference is, by the time we see Phoenix, he has already been fighting the Locust for well over a decade. In this game, he's not going to be a seasoned monster killer. Instead, he's going to be confused and in shock of what the hell is actually happening. In my opinion, going in this direction is amazing. It's going to open the door for so many great opportunities. And it's going to bring back the more horror elements that made the franchise so great in the first place. In the original Gears of War, it just had something magical about it. And it started to lose that magic with every sequel. In fact, even the dark was a menacing force in the original game. The devs have promised to bring the series back to the franchise roots. For us, it's like a what if story. What if the ground opened up and monsters came out? Yeah, it's set on a fictional other planet, but there are very human reactions and stories we get to tell. To do that, we need to be able to tell a story that feels like a horror story. I don't know about you guys, but that was absolute music to my ears. They're taking the series in a direction I absolutely love. Gears of War is a series that's best when it's focused on R-rated G.I. Joes fighting monsters. And between what the devs have said and the trailer, I'm very hyped. I love that the monsters don't just seem to be cannon fodder and don't feel threatening. 
The Locust originally were a menace that could break the most battle-hardened soldier, physically, emotionally, and mentally. <laughs> Gears is a franchise that has simply lost its way over the last couple of console generations. So the fact that they're taking the franchise back to the roots is honestly the best thing they could have done. So often, I hear people say that Gears of War used to be darker, and that Gears 4 and 5 just feel like games from a completely different franchise. And honestly, I agree with those statements. Gears of War used to be just a different beast altogether. Hell. Within minutes of the original game, you saw skinned bodies hanging from the ceiling. Nice. What the hell's been going on in this prison? You don't want to know. You saw people ripped to shreds by a berserker. Or how about when you entered a room completely covered in blood as you walked into the aftermath of a massacre from the wretches? There is so much they could do with this time period in the franchise that I honestly hope this isn't just a single game. It would be amazing if this led to a new trilogy. In fact, it would be even cooler if we got DLC or spin-off games covering the other characters in the franchise and the events that happened to them during E-Day. But let me know what you all think about this new announcement and about Gears of War returning to its roots down in the comments below. By the way, if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm going to get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.